What's up, people? Welcome to another episode of The Supreme Decisions. And today, I want to actually bring up something because it was brought to my attention that apparently I didn't cover enough whenever I talked about traffic stops are illegal, sort of. Because I spoke about um, when Dexter put up the fact that the traffic stop itself was, or traffic infraction was probable cause, not point out traffic infraction is not probable cause for a stop but in Ren v United States 517 US 806 1996 any traffic offense committed by a driver was a legitimate basis for a stop now the greatest portion about that is that we have other things that support that that show the basis of every other thing that I've been pointing out such as Berkemeyer B. McCarty, 468 U.S. 420. It's a 1984 case in which the Supreme Court ruled that a person stopped for a misdemeanor traffic offense once they are in custody. And we talked about the actual stop itself is a custodial stop, according to Terry v. Ohio. The protection of the Fifth Amendment apply to them pursuant to decision in Miranda v. Arizona, which again, reinforces the fact of Hybel v. Nevada because you have the right to remain silent. Florida v. Royer, you don't have to participate in their investigation. They are the ones that are accusing you of something. They are the ones that have the burden of proof. The difference is you have to be prepared to fight once you have these things set forth. So, Do you have to turn those things over? No. Do they have to articulate? Yes, according to Terry v. Ohio. And these are the things that we must have instilled, not only in ourselves, but also into police officers when they are doing these things. But that also reinforces the fact that when I speak about a traffic stop or a traffic infraction, I am talking about them in the instance of They are safety issues because they are liable for your well-being. They are to work towards the benefit of the public. If you're jaywalking, that's not a crime. That's a safety issue. If you're speeding, speeding is not a crime unless there's damage to a personal property. But it is a safety issue. When you're doing things like texting and driving, those are not crimes. Those are infractions. Why? Because they're safety issues. You are responsible for yourself, but you are not afforded the right to damage others or injure others. And this is one of the things I speak about constantly. And also, we get to go back to a couple of other things that I've said. But again, thank you guys for watching. Keep donating. Apple Pay, Venmo, Cash App, Google Wallet. And remember, if you don't have Cash App already, Hit the link in the description, and we both get paid when you start using it, as well as you get stupid incentives and discounts to use the card and use the app. So, see you guys soon.